Back now with a historic fraud settlement with one of the biggest government contractors in the country. And it only came to light after a Marine Corps veteran raised the alarm. Ken Delanian has our report. Much of Sarah Feinberg's philosophy about life was shaped by her time as a captain in the U.S. Marines serving in Iraq. It helped me get a sense of right versus wrong and to have a clear picture of the service that I wanted to perform for our country. In 2015, as a young mom, she was rising up the ranks of Booz Allen Hamilton as a financial analyst. Booz Allen works almost exclusively with the U.S. government. and They, do, they have a ton of contracts with Department of Defense. She says she quickly realized the company's other contracts, some with foreign governments like Saudi Arabia, were bleeding cash. And in order to keep the company profitable, they were passing those costs onto the U.S. government contracts. So these private contracts, including with foreign governments, are losing money. And to cover those losses, they're taking money from the American taxpayer? That's right. And it was a lot of money. What I discovered while I was there was that they were overcharging the government by nearly $100 million a year. That's when Feinberg says she began a campaign to convince her bosses to put a stop to it. It made me very upset as a taxpayer. It made me very upset as a Marine officer. I saw how limited our resources were. After dozens of meetings, she got her chance to present her findings to eight senior executives. She was 31. They were mostly older men. Um, there were, I think, two women in the meeting um, out of the group. And I was definitely the youngest person in the room. Feinberg started by telling the group that fixing the issue would mean losing money. But she says she was quickly cut off by the chief financial officer who told her, I appreciate all the work you've done on this. We are not going to make it a priority this year. That must have just been devastating for you. It was very devastating for me. I called my husband right afterwards and told him I was quitting my job. Feinberg got a lawyer who explained she could sue on behalf of American taxpayers and claim a share of any settlement under a law that dates to the Civil War, the False Claims Act. The Justice Department began an investigation and seven years later announced a $377 million settlement. As much money as it was, Feinberg says the company should have faced even harsher penalties. Feinberg's $40 million share landed in her family's bank account a few weeks ago. Booz Allen admitted no wrongdoing, saying in a statement that the company has always believed it acted lawfully and responsibly, and noting that a criminal investigation was closed without charges. Did they underestimate you? I, mean, I wish they would have taken me and the issue more seriously while I was there. Today, $40 million richer, Feinberg says she plans to give much of it to her church. I've got three kids. <laughs> I tell them doing the right thing is the right thing no matter what the outcome is. There's very few times in this life where you'll actually be rewarded for doing the right thing. Um, but this is one of those unique situations. Ken Delanian, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.